Uh, oh, 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 shit. Is that ri Excuse me. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's trying to move his car. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh they're just banging on his car. Okay. Well. They're trying to get him out to apologize, but he won't. They won't apologize, huh? No, they even said we won't touch you. And whose security anything. is this? This is uh, people's security. They're fully armed. They're I mean, but who who are they protecting? The no, no, in the truck. Who's that in the truck? Fox News, Fox News in the truck. Fo Fo Fox News. All right, so people here, first of all, when they're saying Fox News, see people in Seattle, that's not Q13 Fox. They're talking about the Fox News Channel. Uh, Fox News Channel has been getting pushed out here uh, the last few days. And speaking with them, they've been getting pushed out over here for the last few days. So she's saying that this driver got out the car and pushed a woman. So uh, come down here. It's a lot of tension. Tensions are just high down here. To be <laughs> he hit me with the car. He's got here in his truck. Where's the driver? He's on train tracks. My guy got hit by a train. What's up, Frank man? Frank up right away. What's going on, man? Yes, I. So, so I came in front of the car, and he, he kept driving. Well, be, be on that. He, he kept driving, and I kept like this. He would not stop his car. He kept driving. That, this is the crosswalk, and I have the right of way. They were saddle stuff, too. So are you... I'm pressing charges. Assault with, with Bigler. That's a deadly that's weapon. That's a deadly weapon. That's assault. I'm suing Fox News. Your brother pay this black man. Well, we got to talk about side two. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Just go if I did that, I, 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 I would go to fucking jail. And not only will you go to jail, but you'll go to jail for a long ass fucking time because the wow. justice system is not justice. If he wants to be held hostage by his own pride, then that's on him. Where's the driver? Like the code word is, I'm sorry. Where's and the driver? He that way because he thought I was going to drive around and go pick his ass up. Without it having well, guess what? So the Fox, the Fox News crew, not not Q13 here in Seattle, but the Fox News Channel has actually been getting pushed out here the last few days. In Washington State, um, veterans have the right by, 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 by different security here. Um, he kept driving, even though he saw me. We have. Uh, they've been. They, Fox has been denied access in here a few times. I don't know um, the exact details of this. Somebody told me that that in trying to, I guess, e eject the Fox News crew, they're saying that the driver of the car shoved a shoved a woman, and this is the the response that's out here now, which is like it's crazy. It's uh, saying hi. How are you? Just, no, I ain't got a cold. I'm just. Yeah. That's a lot to see. Second, third time now. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot. With the vehicle. With the vehicle. That's why. And then they abandoned you. So that's, uh, again, that's the scenario that all of you walking on to. It was simply a protest to stand firm and firm affirmation of not allowing any of our women to be abused in such a way. That's Just filling people in. Basically, if you guys, you guys know. Uh, oh yeah. So basically, a, a Fox News reporter came. He was talking, having having an interview with a couple other people. He ended up shoving Rashad Levin. And uh, basically, a lot of the protesters around recognize so, that we need to stay. So a reporter shoved Rashad. Yeah, exactly. The, the reporters, the reporter shoved. It, it's all on camera. The reporter shoved. It. And then every all the protesters around put a put a human blockade saying you need to apologize standing up for a, specifically our black women being uh, stopping the abuse. 
We said you can go as soon as you apologize. He responded by laughing within his car. I got a question for you. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not okay for anybody to be shoved. Yeah. But you said respecting black women. Chief Best just did a press conference over there, and she was consistently heckled. That's a black woman right there. Yeah, Where was you? I was. I was actually here trying to defend this one. I apologize for not being there. Unfortunately, I can't be all places at once. I got long legs. Well, but do, do, you, do you agree? I mean, you, you just said right here, of course, that, that Rashala, this, a black woman, you're saying was pushed by by uh, somebody right here. And uh, back, back to the point that you said respect for black women. Do you agree? The hecklers heckling Chief Best? Where the protesters heckling Chief Best as a black woman? Well, at the end of the day, one, I wasn't there for the heckling. No, I'm, I'm saying, but do you, I mean, I will show you the tape. I mean, yeah, these guys no, will no, agree. No, some of the other people over here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. One, yeah, one, it's not physical violence. And with that, it's the oh, Okay, well, you said respect. Brother, so let's brother, just say yeah, we'll, we'll take it to physical violence then. Absolutely. And my okay. firm stance is, again, one, I wasn't there. Stop. Two, as far as the heckling of Chief one. Best, I hope the hecklings and the, uh, and the, uh, yeah, I hope that the heckles were more based on the fact of her job and occupation. The fact that as the police chief, she has abandoned this community. As a police chief, she's gone against the mayor's direct order to tear gas peaceful citizens. And I hope and I pray that those are what the heckles were, bro. But again, once I see the video, I'd be more than happy to talk about this again. Yeah, catch it on the morning at show. This, at this 11 point, at this point, this is physical violence against one of our women. And we will stand in firm affirmation of our women. That's right. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I, I, under, I understand there's a difference and everything like that, but, you know, I mean, it's always good to ask people the scope of their perspective, you see what I'm saying? And so that's why I ask these questions. Now I understand that the chief is, a, is in a public position and, you know, uh, Shyla is a private citizen and everything else. But, you know, I mean, the, the reason why I'm here is to be able to actually ask a, a scope of questions uh, uh, to, to people who I interview, so you know what I'm saying not on, for pro on the protest, police for either side, but it's good to be able to get you know a full full perspective um, as to what somebody is sitting here and thinking and everything else. So, you know, where's your shy at right now? Where's your shy now? I actually don't know. I think she's she's secured with more people. <laughs> so the, yeah, the reporter actually abandoned his vehicle, and at that point, the cameraman actually veered yeah. forward and hit one of our protesters. I don't know why he thought he was just gonna step to a black woman like that, like we ain't gonna stick up for her. That's what so I'm saying. Up in her face, he got pushed right back, and he didn't want to step to me like that. And I was standing right next to her, and I dared him to step to me like that. He didn't want to get out the car. I told him to come and talk to me like that. He didn't want to say nothing else to me. He likes talking like that to a woman, but he's scared to talk like that to a grown man. Right. And now it went with Fox because this is the second day or the third day now. Is I mean, it, 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 is there an actual issue? I mean, clearly, is, is something occurred here today. But is there an actual like, issue with Fox like News? That, right? Oh yeah, Fox News has no problem expressing their freedom of speech and lying about people. So we have no problem expressing our freedom of speech and calling them out and confronting them directly. So, but isn't that, I think, I get confronted all the time, but blocking people from the zone and actually reporting, reporters reporting, is that censorship? Nobody blocked them from the zone. We came out and met them on the outskirts of the zone and expressed okay. our freedom of speech. And when he decided to step up to a black woman, like he no, was Well, I mean, like yesterday, her. you explained today but yet yesterday Fox says that Fox News Channel says they weren't able to enter the zone um, uh, that they were that repelled no, from they the were zone inside the zone they were right over there and they expressed they expressed our words to them once again and they chose to leave of their own free will we did not escort them out we did not use any physical violence we simply expressed our freedom of speech and they didn't want to hear it so they chose to leave okay are you are are you I just want to be clear are, is your your position is is that you're against censorship of media yes we are entirely uh, uh, for freedom of the press and we are entirely for freedom of speech. However, we will also choose to enact our freedom of speech as we choose to use. So if Fox News comes around, we are free to express how we feel about them. Mm. You don't think that's censorship? No, I think it's us talking to them the way that we want to. If we were unable to do that, they would be censoring us, would they not? I mean, that's, that's you that's describe, man. That's pretty true, Amari, ain't it? Well, I mean, you know, as we can say. you know, as as a member of the media, I mean, I bring this up as a consensus. I'm not, not uh, whether like Fox News or not Fox News. I'm just speaking at uh, the principle of, of freedom of the press. Is the freedom of the press 
something that's respected here in the chop. Yes, it is. I make sure to say freedom of the press every time I see somebody whose rights are being uh, ignored or going against their right to freedom of the press. But as I mentioned before, we can also exercise our right to freedom of speech. And that is what you saw. He walked in, he walked up, and we expressed our freedom of speech. He didn't like it. He chose to address a black woman about it instead of the black men that were standing right in front of him. All right. Thank you. Thank you. More lives would have been lost without, without the city allowing the bear. And I appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, Chief Bassett from there, she said that this area is fundamentally unsafe, unsafe and that it needs to be shut down. What, what are your feelings about that? What, do you, what would you say to her? I mean, I would say that... Yeah. One could say that just simply being black and walking any street is unsafe. I mean, what this is, this is a physical manifestation of the abandonment that the that not just SPD, but police have given towards black people since the beginning of the, since the creation of the police. Again, we never kept the cops out. They abandoned this space. We've been here protecting that building because it was unlocked when we came here. Do you feel unsafe? No, I feel safer here than anywhere else. As do I. Especially, yeah. especially as a protest. As do I. <laughs> I feel safer here. Especially with those barricades. And again, thank you. Thank you, SDOT, for not removing it when you requested. Thank you for allowing us. We were just talking about this last night. We said it wasn't forcing them. We asked, we requested for them to be here during this time. And without those barricades, more people's lives would have been lost. And this morning, you said that um, so much nice who, who pushed for Shiloh? Can you recount what It was what a Fox News reporter. Fox News. I, I don't actually know his name, but his face it was, was all a middle-aged white man. Yeah, middle-aged white man in a suit. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it, it literally could not have looked worse as far as. <laughs> yeah, literally. I mean, it was it was the ass whip. He he shoved her, and like Shiloh, being a strong black woman, did was not was not having that. And we stood up as a community, saying uh, having a physical, peaceful barricade with our bodies and said you will not leave until you apologize to our sister what happened after that after that his cameraman well i mean well, from what i heard he tried to run somebody over that's why we rushed over to see what was going it, on exactly and the vehicle yeah he, 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 he did and you got to record it and so he did try to run somebody so over. so instead so instead of over. instead of simply apologizing which was our request they chose to run over a black man <laughs> Yeah. And then right. they got beautiful, out and beautiful optics people. for Fox News. They, they posed as policemen and they physically moved protesters out of the way. They, ha they have no, they're not peace officers. They have no right to do that. Oh, they didn't do that when I was here. Why yeah, not? Some, some, some they of didn't the try to physically to, remove to, me to, when to I was screaming in their faces. Some of the security that was too? here as independent That's people, crazy. they're protecting both crowds. I, I, they I, didn't uh, want to try that when I was here. They protecting both. From what I saw. Okay. Some of them. Do you think the private security here is equipped enough to protect people from violence? I think that <laughs> I think it depends on the degree of that violence. I, I would say that everyone here has learned how to de-escalate, protect each other, and also just simply open lines of dialogue that allow us to kind of protect ourselves. And I notice how I don't say police ourselves. Like genuinely, we've learned how to protect ourselves through de-escalation. I'm sure all of you have seen in the media the amazing amount of like rapid, rapid escalations that happen throughout this whole experience. Think of how many of those happen on a daily basis. And yet, these shootings always happen with random people that aren't affiliated with CHOP. So what's next?